What's going on guys? This is Boss Russell P and welcome back for more Persona 4 The Hidden Let's Play. I accidentally fucked up the last session, at least the last hour and a half of it. So you guys didn't get to hear any of my reactions to all that wacky shit. Good thing nothing was missed, you know? No, no reactions would have been interesting there, let me tell you. No, 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 nothing about that cultural fest was interesting. No, no, nothing. Couldn't even stop the horrendous judging of the cross-dressing competition like Jesus. I was I was all over Naoto doing a great job having fun there, even though she wasn't part of the cross-dressing one. But, I don't know. Uh, I, I was all over Kanji, Yosuke, and me. I think we look pretty fucking awesome. I don't know about you. Teddy won, though. It's, it's unfortunate. I mean, he deserved it. Let's, let's start. So, in the last session, apart from that... We saved Naoto. That's pretty much all we did in, like, battle turns. Everything else was mostly just social link stuff. And the majority of it had voice acting, which is the last hour and a half. Very unfortunate, but it's okay. <clears throat> I did get to comment on the utter horror that was fucking the teacher and, uh, Hanako? I believe it's name? Ha ha something like that. You know, the, the, the big, big girl uh, with, like, the chin that looks like cancer, that one. Yeah, um, we accidentally crashed into their party, uh, or their sob party, whatever the fuck it was. That was not good. That, uh, the whole scene was just no touch. Let's, let's go. I want revenge from um, a certain somebody. Uh, not you. you, you actually didn't deserve it. I think the whole idea to go to the girls' room was stupid in the first place. That challenge? Okay, what was it? It was like... Group B, because of gears, uh, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> yes, fuck. Oh yeah, you're still scary, clown face. Um, everyone else just wants shit. It's unfortunate coming back from Persona 5 where I have a nice phone to tell me what people want from me. No, in this, in this game, you just have to go out and find out. It's kind of like... You know, real life, how we've transitioned to a mobile age in which we don't know anymore. Or, or now we, we always know what our friends are doing, and we can always go join them if that's applicable. Fuck them. Go and knock on Ann's door, be like, hey, is Ann able to play today? Most of the time it was yes, because we were kids, so it's not like we were out anywhere. I mean, I guess I could check and be like, is Ann's cars home? Is, is enough cars to assume that he could possibly be home? I'd go over. I was one of those kids that would just, like, enter without knocking. We were we were pretty tight back then. On a, on a first name basis with everybody, including the fam. Good times. I mean, we still are, but I, I, I usually text him now. I don't just, like, go walk over and enter his house. A little less, uh, a little less cute when a 23-year-old does it than when, like, a 7-year-old does it. Hello, Yukiko. Oh. I feel your relationship is not ready to advance yet. You are in rank 9, right? So you are right there. Um, you're not ready to advance yet, though. So I'm... Was that... Oh, no shit. Oh, right, but I have to have the proper stat to be able to hang out with you. Yeah. That ain't gonna happen. Let's go up to the roof and see if we can't find that socially awkward girl. There she is. Hello, Chie. And the other socially awkward is Chie. Oh, you... I was... Wait, I mean, what are you doing here? No one asked you to come. Well, I'm busy, so what's on your mind? You want to be friends? Huh? No, 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 no. The awkward girl ran away. Well, I guess I was a little too forward. Hey, what's up, Chie? I'm beat. I actually listened in class today. Sorry, I gotta cancel. Sorry, Chie. I gotta hang out with people who I can advance social links with. I'm hanging out with you a lot. But I need to go spend time with people like fucking... Not Yosuke. He just wants to go on a motorcycle ride. It's not gonna help me. Plus, I already maxed out Yosuke, too. Nobody wants to hang out today. Um, who else can I hang out with? Got the athletes, got Yumi. Can I switch? You know, that's something I still have yet to do. Let's go find out. 
because I assume that there's probably some different people to hang out with if I switch to the music club. I don't think Yumi was into music, so I don't know. Let's go see if that does something. I just saved, so if it fucks something up, if it, like, destroys my relationship with Yumi or something, for, by some weird, stupid reason the game introduces, I doubt it, but, you know. Also, where the hell do I have to go for this again? Uh, it's... Teacher's Hall? It's, it's on the first floor. Hello, Yukiko, yet again. Uh, not the nurse's office. I'm not hurt. Faculty office. Actually, nurse's office is interesting because... The one guy is in there, maybe. That's the faculty office. Alright, let's give it a try. She didn't have the faculty office without a reason. Not, not allowed. Okay. And I'm still not allowed. Counselor! You have no reason to be counseled. Darn. Maybe I'm not allowed to switch. Which means I basically cannot become a musician anymore. I mean, unless it was over at the practice building. I don't remember. It's been a while. You know, I'm gonna go up to, uh... My floor. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Over here, maybe? Calligraphy now. How do I join the, config the calligraphy building? There's a library. Am I actually allowed to do anything in the library? Oh, yeah, I can. I guess I would advance my stuff good to know that it exists. I don't think there's, like, anything on the third floor, either. Announcement room. I don't have anything to announce. Yeah. And computer lab. You don't have anything to computer. AV room. No. I don't know if I'm allowed to switch, which is kind of a bummer. No, I just realized there are three classrooms for every single year. It means they have upwards of, like, 180 students, if that? Boy, what a small town. Oof. Hmm. Maybe more like 200, but still. Very small. It kind of makes me happy, though. Don't have to switch. Because I don't have to worry about it. That's a problem. Or maybe you're only allowed to switch when uh, uh, Moroka is a teacher. And then once once he dies, you can't switch anymore. That would be silly. Let's go see if I can hang out with the killer. Oh my god, I can. Oh, oh, it's you. Man, you must be bored. Is it worth it to hang out with Adachi, the killer? I'm convinced. I don't know. I don't know, Adachi. I don't know about you. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's something to do. I never hang out with Adachi. I don't think he gives me any perks, but hey, I guess I'll take oh. all the social links I can get. Even though it doesn't... I can't advance with Adachi. <laughs> I think I have him at, like, two. So I don't know. Well, now in like a month I'll be able to hang out with him again. Whatever. Maybe I'll make more of an effort with Adachi. Oh, welcome home, big bro. I'm glad you're no longer sick with the little child is going to die syndrome. That's good. You alien. Let's go grab the vetch to bulls. Just like I need to do in Persona 5 in three days. I'm like on the eighth or the ninth or whatever. On the 11th, we need to harvest the harvest tomato. No seedlings. Oh shit. Well, good job, Ross. Oh. Uh oh. I'm suspicious. I think she's gonna get kidnapped. I don't know. I can make lunch. If I make lunch with Yukiko, 
then I can hang out with her, maybe. That's actually not a bad idea. Or I could work on models. <laughs> Fuck no. Let's just make lunch. I like making lunch sometimes. So what we got here? <clears throat> California rolls. Okay. Sushi rice first. What's the key with mixing vinegar with rice? Mix before cooling, mix, then shove in the fridge. Mix and cool simultaneously. Hmm. Well. Well. Uh. Mix before cooling? Let's see, what do I do when I make, uh. I'm gonna make pasta salad, because that's like one of the few things I actually add vinegar to. I don't shove it in the fridge. I mean, I, I cool the noodles, of course, and I just add the thing. I, I, you can cool it simultaneously, right? Or would you want to mix before cooling? I, oh, yeah, yeah, you do want to mix before cooling. Duh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Ah. Doesn't appear edible. Gotcha, gotcha, I see. Not wasting my time slot that easily. Sometimes I'll reset. 95% of the time I reset this shit. Because I'm a dumbass with food, apparently. I still know how to pronounce fucking Vichy Swaz, though. Like, of all the things you know, Ross. What a, what a fucking totally random thing. Just call it cold potato soup. Try that one again, you little heart devil. She's a heart devil because she rips hearts out of people's chests. Let's try that one again. I guess mix and cool simultaneously. Sushi rice smells fantastic. Okay. Noble California roll bento. Cool. I guess vinegar doesn't like to be mixed and then cooled or something like that. I don't know. What's up? Hmm. One sock on meat and pizza bowls. For breakfast? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, what were you saying? I had so much fun doing last week. There was the culture festival, then we had the sleepover with everyone, and you were silent for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, shut up. I was really happy. I thought that I'd be never able to experience things like that anymore. Oh, did you see the weather report? Looks like the weather's going to start getting rough this weekend. We need to keep a close eye on the Midnight Channel. It hasn't rained lately, so we haven't been able to see it. We might be in for a surprise the next time it's... Oh, let me tell you what, if that fucking alien's on it, oh boy. Be careful. Yeah. Town seems to think that the case is closed, but the real killer hasn't been caught yet. There's the killer right there. Fucking Morishige, I knew it. I don't think Morishige actually does kill anyone from Corpse Party. I mean, he does some creepy shit, but... I don't know. More of like a false positive. Anyway, uh, wait, shit. Glad thing I, di I didn't accidentally hit eat alone. Alright, you can go get your ass over here. I brought some California rolls to remind you of home, I guess. I live in Japan. I, I run an inn that has been in the family for generations. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, California. Wow, this is good. Did you make this on your own, Ross? Is this what real good food is supposed to taste like? The flavor is excellent. The presentation is great. Do you want to work as a chef at our place? I'm just kidding. Though, so you're more than welcome if you want to. Well, that's what food's good for. All right. What's up? Come on. Go inside the TV. Nah, not today. Sorry, Chie, but we're kind of overleveled as it is. I'm the same level as the person who just joined. Me and Naoto got this. All right, round two. Or round... Eight. I, I don't know how many fucking times I've tried to beat this guy's stupid goddamn riddle. 
All right, it was group A, and it was, uh, oh, it was human motion, and it was group B. Or, no, maybe it was A. Okay. Gorilla, Maker, Coffee, Egg Beater, uh, Spent Club. Whose phone does Avalanche answer with letting the other group go to voicemail? I don't remember. I had this all written down in notes, but then I fucked it up. So, I'm just going to guess. B, because uh, I said Garuns last time. Avalanche. Syllables. Just when you thought the advantage had a blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta know that... I gotta check the syllables next time. Maybe syllables is correct. We're out. Ah. Oh! Hey, that's a little bit better than what it used to be. Hey, I, uh, you wanna go hang out? Since you're actually somewhat pleasant to hang out with now. Sure. Sure. Looks almost happy. <laughs> wow, great. Glad she's almost happy. I have some news for you. Oh boy, my favorite. I have a pizza bagel for you. Can I have it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm eating it. <laughs> Got her. The other day I bumped into him. And we talked for a while. You know, guys keep doing. But nothing happened. My heart didn't race. He was just a normal good guy. I guess what I felt was kind of a fleeting thing. You okay with that? Hmm? I don't think I'm really that bothered by it, you know? <laughs> I'm just thankful you helped me realize it. I was lying to myself. Whenever there's been two ways I could go, I always did what the ideal girl would do. I forgot about the real me. Real me likes bulldogs more than German shepherds. Ah, I see. You're a snubble person and not a uh, houndour version. I gotcha. Gotcha. It's totally okay. I like both. Personally, I fucking love houndoom. Oh my god, he's such a sick Pokemon. I'm better at long distance running than sprints. I prefer milk over tea, and I like Daifuku more than cream puffs. Okay, let's see what we got here. Cream puffs are better than Daifuku, sorry. I like milk more than tea, yeah, I'll give you that. Uh, long distance running more than sprints, yeah, yeah, I'm better at that. Well, I'm, I'm okay at both, but I, I do like long distance running more. I don't know how to hook up a TV. I definitely do. I think aromatherapy smells... All right, all right, I uh, never mind. I guess I should have dated you. Fucking aromatherapy sucks ass. I fucking hate it. We got like for Christmas some like perfume scents. It gives me like headaches. I fucking hate it. And any person that'll carry stuff is fun. All right, good, 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 good. But I hit the heart of me away and just pretended it wasn't there. No wonder I don't think anyone would like me. Of course, I didn't have any redeeming qualities. I wasn't me. That's why, right now, I feel pretty good. I feel like you're able to support I in her time of need. That's good that she's not insufferable anymore. Oh, it's already getting dark. I guess it's true. Time really does fly when you're having fun sitting on a roof and doing nothing. Bye-bye, Ross. See you later. All right, Nanako, uh, how many days do you have left? Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Nanako's dead. Oh, no. You can work as a janitor. Oh, boy. Well, it's even harder with these throbbing headaches. <coughs> anyway, how you doing, Dojima? Nah, I'm good on coffee. I hope that's actually what Dojima's coffee does, just gives me an extra time slot. I mean, not that I've ever really been able to take advantage of that. Most of the days I just do the entire place in one go. I mean, I have to send a calling card like I do in P5. Uh, how are my stats? Um, let's take a look. Understanding, diligence, and courage I need to get up. Courage would be good. So I could actually start hanging out with Naoto. I need...
the other two to get up, but I don't know, I guess they'll just get up on their own. Remember that time I kicked you in the face? And you said, ooh, fuck you. You go back home. Just take a step outside, smoke, and walk back in. Ross, I didn't take you for a smoker. Uh, you know, why do you think I do so good on my tests? Nicotine builds the mind muscles, let me tell you what. Alright, let's, uh, let's go find someone. Oh, there's Chiyu. Woo woo. It is also Wednesday, which probably means I missed out on vending machines, so it's time to do those now. Maybe I can have Chie join me for the vending machine go. Mm. Hey Chie, wanna buy drinks from a vending machine with me? That sounds like an entirely inordained thing. I know, right? But it's actually really exciting. Is it? No, it's not. It's actually the most boring fucking part of this LP. But, but, just thinking of the buffs I get off it. Hmm. I'm about to cry some goddamn Dr. Salt Neo because I didn't win a single goddamn time. Also, apparently they give me six drinks now. I could have sworn they always gave me five like the other vending machine. Oh well. I think I'm doing pretty good. It's been a little bit since now, though. Hey, GA, I'll actually hang out with you in two shakes. But first and foremost, more vending machine. Make sure to grab tap soda because orange smash is literally garbage. I guess I'll go catch some bugs, because I haven't done that yet. So actually, it, it's going to be more than a second. Yeah, it's going to be about an hour, but I hope you'll still be outside by then. I mean, it is a school night, and there's school tomorrow. Do this run. I could also go fishing. That's another option. Hey, guys, guess what? Watch this. Watch this. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Uh-huh. You looking? You're not looking. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, never gonna win. Well, go see if I can feed her fish. I think that guy increases my understanding or something like that. I mean, I could work here and do that, but I'd rather just feed the crazy-ass fish. Your little one. It's bigger than you are, man. Like, I'm sure someone could make an inappropriate comment about your body. But I say, you look just fine. That fish has got to fucking go, though. That is not okay to have something that big in your goddamn tank. That's going to eat like a small child and you're gonna have a nice lawsuit and also some jail time and that fish is gonna get killed probably I can only assume all right let's go Chie. yeah that's what I'm talking about Jeez. Oh, the culture festival my skin still crawls thinking about it swimsuit competition really sheesh that teddy and on top of that, what was the idea of lining us up next to an active idol? Yeah, you look the best. Huh? Me? Oh, come on, don't joke like that. <laughs> hey, that's no fair. You always beat me to it and say the things I want to hear. That's even more embarrassing than going out in front of everyone in a swimsuit. <laughs> but that cross-dressing pageant got everyone really excited. I look the best though, right, Chie? Now nah, it's definitely Teddy. <laughs> I did feel kind of guilty, but the spectacle was so worth it. Didn't even comment. Oh, she, I guess she ignored it. I, I should be grateful that she ignored my costume. Ooh, it's late. I wish I could stay longer. Oh, here, have this. It's a sincerity cookie. What makes it sincere? She, like, comes over and, like, lightly taps my foot. It's sincere. Ooh, ooh. Nothing much, but I thought you might like it. Good night, Chie. Good night. I'm gonna go watch as my sister gets kidnapped from underneath my feet, or whatever the fuck is going to happen. She's gonna get abducted. It's gonna be a role reversal. 
One more day until my real world birthday. Hmm. What to do for that? I do not know. I mean, in real life, it's going to be about four months and some change until my real life birthday. But in this game, one day. How are you doing, Headache Chan? It's going to rain soon. Well, it's going to rain soon. What, what do you mean soon? It's raining right now. Oh boy, she really does have some sort of sickness or illness. She can't even tell spatial awareness anymore. I mean, that might just be a five-year-old thing. Dude does not have object permanence yet. Although, I would assume that Nanako probably has object permanence. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Hello. Don't you think it's nice if everyone was done for you? That's what I call convenience. Kind of like driving a car. All you got to do is step on the gas and the car does the rest. If life was like that. Ah, what am I saying? Sorry, I tend to think of crazy things when I'm bored. Crazy things? Could he be the killer? No, he's, he's probably not. Zuper's OC is probably not the killer. Hello, little girl. Ah, that's the rain singing girl. Um... Well, nobody of the Velvet Room attendee would probably like to hand it, hang out. Oh, never mind. Here we go, round like six or eight or whatever it is on Maria's notes. What do you got this time? Song of the Fallen Angel. The Fallen Angel is chained down. Her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice. Her last breaths full of black despair. Do you know her name? Nanako? Will she eventually return to nothing? Forced into the realm of oblivion? No. Her requiem will become a roar. And tear away the mask of hypocrisy. Do you know her name? She who will strike down the cowards and tear down the lies? That's right. Her name is... What is it? Uh... It's Mar... It's, it's Igor. I knew it. What? What is this? Ooh, what the hell is this? What? Why is this here? What the hell happened? I remember putting this in my bag. Hey, were you reading this? What the hell's the matter with you? Do you want me to strike you down? Calm down, Miss Fallen Angel. You are disturbing her. <laughs> Marika, you fucking troll. That's why I'm shouting at him. Wait, Miss Fallen Angel. I hate you. Hate you, hate you, hate you, hate you, hate you. Don't read my things. Maria turns to her seat, muttering horrible things under her breath. Jeez, Margaret. Uh, it seems that you have completed over half of the social links. How wonderful for you. Well then, please take this. Your commitment to the social links will be your commitment to your world. Look forward to seeing your world. I got the metal bat. Uh, neat. I guess I've done half the social links. <clears throat> to completion or like half as in if you count all the social links there'll be like 200 like total like uh, meetings or whatever. I don't know. I assume like completed half of them. So that'd be Yosuke, Yumi, uh, Yosuke, Yumi, Dad, Chan, otherwise known as Dojima, uh, Chie of course. I got the athletes. There's only 10 social links in this game? Oh, who else? Is, well, I mean, there's all my friends. Uh, Naoto, Marie. I don't know. There's probably some other characters that I'm missing. Probably just like one or two, or maybe like eight, because I fucking don't know this game. But, you know, I'm trying my damn best here. Cut me some slack. Hmm. Big Sis gets angry. Oh boy, some super croquettes. What a good use of my time. Oh, so I just realized I got the day off school. I don't know why I got the day off school. I kind of missed the explanation for why I got the day off school. Last one, okay. 
I could take the Beef Bowl Challenge. If I do, I can increase those three stats. Perhaps get one of them up to max. Otherwise, I really don't have anyone to hang out with. Uh, do I have a calendar on me? I do not. A calendar's in my room, which would take a day slot to go to. So, I'm just going to go do the Rainy Beef Bowl Challenge. And say it's a happy little mystery why I did not actually have to uh, go to school today. Guy's sword for the metal bat. Woof! That hit. Woof! That's awful! But I like it at the same time. It's like the guts bat from. Uh, that's totally just the gutsy bat from Earthbound. Oof. No thanks. I do not need the gutsy bat in my life. I mean, that's pretty cool. But at the same time, I like being able to hit. Mm hmm. Alright, give me some good stats here, please. Well, two of those were useful. My daughter, my man named Dojima. Wait. Hmm. I heard you live with the police detective named Dojima. My daughter met a man named Dojima when she made a delivery to the police station. She said he looked a little like you. Crown must be filled with handsome men and beautiful women. Well, I don't know how my mother looks. One of them is a sick year old alien, so I don't think she's beautiful yet. I mean, she's... Mm, no, no. I don't want to know if she can transform into, like, a lady. As far as I know, only only little six-year-old girl. And now's probably not the best time to ask because she has a massive throbbing headache. And she's also about to get kidnapped. I don't know. Anyway, let's hang out with Nanako. See if we can't get that 10th rank before she disappears from the plot. God damn it. Well, I'll try anyway. <clears throat> let's hang out, you little alien. Fuck me, dude. Maybe it's locked. I feel like I've hung out with her a lot. I don't know. Senpai. Sup? Been a while since it rained last, huh, hasn't it? Weather report said this rain's gonna last all night. Gonna have to watch the Midnight Channel. You're right. Only we know that the real killer's still out there, right? Now that I think about it, we have to be even tougher now that the cops are on the case. Well, here's my last, uh, last time slot. Hey, Osi-chan, you were at Yomin Idol Bookstore the other day, weren't ya? Well, you saw me, I was buying the latest bully teacher. Shopping district's getting empty with Juness taking all their business. You could hear a Kenko Dori chirp over there. Hey, kids, quit going to Juness so often. Visit your local shopping district, too. Well, can you tell me what kind of bird a conkadori is? You, Hanachan, you look like you have no problem with silence. Wait, there's really a bird called a conkadori? I thought it was just a saying. Sorry, Ross, I have no idea. Um, it's probably a sparrow. You can hear a conkadori chirp. Okay, something with like a really quiet call. Definitely not a chicken. They, they're they loud fucking assholes. Eagles are like, Aah! Crows are like, ah! Sparrow's like, Pee. It's probably a sparrow. At least I think. Ah, I thought you knew, Hana. I'm disappointed. It's a variety of cuckoo. Names are even a bit similar. What a dumb saying, then. What? Chickens are loud as fuck! This chirping sounds sad, which has led to... Okay, I'm curious now. What does a cuckoo sound like? Are cuckoos different than chickens? The f this isn't a chicken at all! Zelda lied to me. Alright, let me let me listen to this bad boy. I gotta That's a cuckoo? I mean I guess it makes sense. All this time, wow we all right, well, good to know. Yeah, yeah, you, you probably could hear a kaku cry. Sounds kind of sad. I don't know about sad. Oh, 
It sounds not really ominous either. It's kind of weird to describe it. It's like a like a little cuckoo clock, cuckoo clock, you know. More complacent, I guess, would be the way to describe it. That's a weird way to describe a sound. Even a famous Bancho haiku about it. Kankodori, let me feed the loneliness. Let me feel the loneliness in my grieving heart. Or you know, I could I could sing the Kookaburra song from that tape we smashed as children. Kookaburra sitting in the old gum tree. Mary, Mary, something for the life of me. Stop, Kookaburra, stop before I strip off your panties. Wait, I don't think the song went like that. I don't know, something like that. Kookaburra, won't you marry me? And if you don't, I will watch you pee. Oh, jeez. No, this song sounds a little bit weirder than what I remembered. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for payback. Turn around time. Anyway, it's group A with human motion. All right, let's, let's watch. <clears throat> Gorilla is three. Elephant is three. Okay, well, it's not, it's not syllables. Coffee maker is A. No, it's not syllables. Egg beater Avalanche. Um. I wish I could look back at his dialogue. Because I really need to just write this fucking down. Uh, they were both three. It was like Gorilla, Elephant, Coffee Maker, and then... Something else with three syllables. So I guess Avalanche could technically hang up with Group B because it has three syllables too. Only difference is that group A also has something with three syllables. So it's definitely not that. Then avalanche. I thought it would be something that was like loud. Let's try A. Indefinite articles. No, I don't fucking know. Okay. Sorry, I'm not smart enough for your goddamn riddle. <clears throat> Let us... Go figure out something to do. Because it seems like all the kids are just not going to exist today. Girl's probably not going to be on the roof. No, she's not going to be on the roof. Alright. Let's go to the floor one. Well, Yukiko's here. Hey. She doesn't want to hang out. No, it's just TV world nonsense. I... Not, not today. We do not need the television. It wouldn't be a terrible idea, I guess, to grind a little bit, but I'm going to need at least, like, what was it? Like, six levels, eight levels, whatever, to get to Trumpeter. So, I have all the Persona I need, I think. Or at least, I was working towards it. I still have Yadakarasu. I did not realize that. That's good to know. That I still have you. However, I just always use Osei anyway, because Osei is a fucking beast. I mean, it's not Shikyoji, I guess, in its own way, but it, it does it does good work. Shikyoji is just a fucking monster. Well, let's go see what we can't do at Juness. See if maybe I can go hang out with my man. Oh, he's too busy kidnapping my sister. Oh, well, darn. Sorry, Matsuda. I guess you got to go have your plot today. Oh, well. Fucking who knows. Guess it's another day of the Rainy Beat Bowl Challenge. I mean, I don't have anything else to do. Do you? Do you know where your children... I don't know. I guess I could also purchase crops. That's actually a good idea. I should do that. Let's go purchase crops so I have something to do tonight uh, before my sister gets kidnapped. Hello. Uh, Juness coveralls. Who do I have to give that to? I don't know. Anyway, give me some melons because that is an insane grow. Wall paprika also take that just to have something to do. Thank you. So who do I have to give this to? Food fight. That's my favorite movie. Mm. 
You know, I, I'd love to know if Japanese shopping malls have just, like, themes that just play whenever you go inside of them. Because <clears throat> uh, in, in America, we definitely don't have that. I mean, I guess you could say we have themes because the same 12 goddamn songs plays on the radio because they all play the same exact station. Radio stations always play the same 18 songs, but, you know, fuck, like... There's there's definitely more than just the ding 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 ding. I'm it's not royalty free necessarily, but the songs are pretty stock standard, bog standard, inoffensive for the most part. I think the most offensive song I've ever heard inside of a store is uh Believer by Imagine Dragons. And is is that even really risque? It's just more loud and booming than most songs typically are in shopping centers. Well, <coughs> I'm going to go take the Rainy Beef Bowl Challenge. I don't know about you. Maybe buy some more Super Cook. I'm not even going to fucking bother. Nope. Let's get at least one of these stats up to five, please. Please, I'm begging you. Cut me some slack here. Courage would be preferable. Understanding, knowledge, courage. God, son of a bitch. Well, I love taking this challenge instead of actually eating food like a normal person. Hello, welcome to evening. Dad's late. Well, that's okay. I'm just gonna go to bed. Don't make too much noise when the kidnapper comes inside. Also, this is my birthday. I just realized this is this is what I get to do on my birthday. Have my sister get kidnapped? Great. Nanako, don't answer the damn door. Please, for the love of God, don't answer. She's getting kidnapped. It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. All of a sudden, the hand reaches out from beyond the wall. Just swipes Nanako. Or, or, you know, I probably got switched with, like, a clone Nanako here. The actual Nanako got kidnapped. This is just her clone. Uh, so, I, I guess already Nanako was an alien clone, but now there's a clone of the alien clone. This is getting complicated. Don't answer the phone. Hello, this is the Dojima residence. <sighs> well, it looks like it's time to go down to the police station now and file a claim. I know it's your job. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Big bros with me, so... Okay. Bye. I give her about five minutes. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. Oh, great. What a perfect time to kidnap you. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. Okay. Um... What to do? Do I get close to Nanako and risk probing? But, but I mean, our, our relationship has advanced in, like, the social link terms. So maybe she's dropped the idea of probing me as much as she originally thought. I don't know. But if I don't, then she's going to get kidnapped and I'll look like a shitty older brother. This is a bit of a conundrum. Hey, Nanako, do you just want to take some sleeping pills in the cabinet and just go to bed for, like, the next 24 hours? That'd be great. She's smiling cheerfully. Well, she seems to like my idea. <laughs> It's cold today, too. I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air. Wanna bring <clears throat> out the kotatsu? Great. Uh, sure. Dad Let's do that. Pull it out if it gets too cold. That'll make it nice and warm. That'll make it nice and comfortable for when I get kidnapped. By Matsuda motherfucking Adachi. Monaco, that's a naughty word. I don't care. I'm an okay. alien. I'm turning it on. Well, shit. What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. I'm gonna go check the circuit breaker around the house outside in the dark in the alley. I'm sure nothing wrong will happen. Don't wait for me, Ross. Let's get a cheap one. Let's get the best one. Huh? We can buy one? At you next? I'm sure there won't be any conflict with me taking you out. Yay! <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to Juness. 
I mean, today is my birthday, so this is a great fucking birthday, let me tell you what. I got to eat some fucking beef bowl, and I have to go buy a goddamn Kotatsu. I hope not today. Monaco better be in fucking bed, I swear. Alright, uh, let's see who's on the TV. I guess it couldn't be Nanako unless, like, Killer's on speed. Someone appeared. It's a silhouette by Naruto. Silhouette! But it looks even blurry than usual. Can't even tell what gender the person is. I can tell it has the same height as Nanako. Yep. It was really blurry, but you saw someone on the screen, right? Damn it. Is there gonna be another kidnapping? Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. I should probably make sure to take my but sister with me. Has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Yeah. Just to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. I don't think there's a way I can keep it unopen. Even I, who's notoriously good at stealing away my schedules. Actually, will probably not be in the mood to uh, rudely ask anymore during lunch. Well, time to finally find out who it is. I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. <coughs> to think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? From a fuzzy picture like that, no way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Only kid I can think of is the elementary schooler who was reviewed, was uh, interviewed by the principal or whatever, or vice versa. And I want to say that that's Nanako. It it would just make sense if it was Nanako, or they haven't really introduced any new characters. Hmm, Only new character was the one from that cutscene with the white hair scribbling notes. Wait, what hair? I oh, don't know, maybe it is a gas station attendant. Uh-oh! However, he sounded way too old to be the gas station attendant. I don't know. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. Well, he certainly existed, but he didn't look to fit the frame at all. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with this town. The fog's perfectly fine. Get me the fuck out of here. Hmm. Huh. What's the matter? Oh, yeah. They stuck you with the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. Oof. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan, and I'm serious about living. A promise that you would shove her into the TV? Huh, is that it, Teddy? Are you the killer? From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? Like an elementary schooler. Yep, yep, we got this all, Teddy. I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. I mean, they were only up to, like, half the resolution on my t well actually i guess on all tvs it would be half the resolution even though my tv is a dinky piece of shit it was probably just a dream or your imagination either way though did you sense anyone in that world nope no one's come so far then we might have to wait one more night and see yeah that's usually what we have to do yeah i guess so good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night don't forget to check again later on it's a good thing that if Nanako does get kidnapped, she probably won't have- we won't have to, like, fight her shadow. What, what would even Shadow Nanako be? Like, even ignoring the fact that she's an alien for a second. Like, what, what would her shadow form even be? Like, hi, I'm you. Um, I think, uh, I think Ross is a poopy head. You take that back, you're not me. Ha 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 She actually thinks I'm just a poopy head. All along. I'll have to go home and cry for hours. Hey, I'm back. All right, time to get thrown in the TV, little squirt. Welcome back. Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. 
Oh, you mean raining it? No, it always does this. What are you talking about? All right, about? I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Uh, I'll do my best if I even have the money for it. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... Oh boy, here we go again. No return address. Oh boy, uh, this is from my secret admirer. I told her where my mailbox is, not the shoe letter. Doji, my don't look over my shoulder. This is bad. This is a bad touch. There's only one sentence. If you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Uh, don't take that. Hey, what the hell is this? Uh, <coughs> it's uh, we we have a weird kink in our relationship. Here, let me call Chie right now. Hey, Chie. Ha! <laughs> hey, funny letter you sent me yet again. I didn't send you a... Shut up and say you sent me a letter. Ah, yeah, yeah, I, s I sent him a letter, Dojima-san. Yeah, that part about killing me? Ha, <laughs> yeah, that's what you always do, right? Y yeah, totally. Fucking launch him to the moon. Not often we get letters with no return address on them. Are you used to getting death threats, Dojima? So, I was right. Uh... Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? That's a way of what putting it. What are you it. up to? Uh, you know, just just uh, coexisting. Uh, I like I like uh, walking around at night and occasionally bumping into people randomly. And I'm like, oh hey, you're the person who was kidnapped. Hey, surprise thing. I'm really good at that. And that's all my involvement is, you know. Uh... Truth is gonna be a little bit interesting but let's see i mean i know my i know my man dojima but we have rank 10 so uh basically i jump into the television so you're not gonna be honest with me i've been treating you like family that's why i never questioned you on this but i see that was a mistake i should have intervened much earlier because i care for you i will have the truth from you today Look, if you just want me to stand up, I just like stand on my chair and like show you. Then, uh, hey Nanako, you should probably turn around. This is gonna be kind of kind of weird. <laughs> just shove my hand through the television and be like, hey, hey, look, Dojima, look what I can do. Hey, told you. Dad. And you're not gonna buy a katatsu either. <laughs> we'll continue this somewhere else, but I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. Convinced of what? My murder. Or, or of Nanako's kidnapping? Oh boy, that's that's gonna be great. This is for your own good. Got that? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go, bud. It's all right. We're, we're not fighting. <laughs> we're not fighting. We'll be right back. So don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? Yeah, Nanako's gonna get the fuck kidnapped. You're ready for a dodge to come waltzing in and be like, "Hey, I'll I'll tuck her in bed for you." All right, a You're actually doing something useful for once. We'll be back soon. I'll be waiting. However, you will probably be gone very soon. Later that night, at a room inside the police station. Well, Adachi's here. Guess he's cleared. Darn. Hold on to this. He took away your cell phone. I'm gonna go look after now Nanako. Speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? If he says, I'm going to go look after Nanako, all my suspicions are going to go from, like, seven to a billion. What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Look, I make a lot of enemies. I'm kind of vapidly attractive, and I know a lot of girls, and, you know, if I keep getting involved... There's a television in this room. I can tell them the whole truth. Persona? People going inside a TV? Ah, uh, <sighs> yeah. This is going a lot harder than it did with Sojiro. I guess because with Sojiro, we didn't totally explain how we're dependent on these. What's really going on here. Do you just want me to stand? Like, I'll, I'll stick my hand through the TV right now if you want. Enough. That's enough. D dude, just stick your hand. The television's right there. I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. Ah, uh, wow, Dojima, that's a, that's a fucking rude way of saying it. Hey, can I turn on the Midnight Channel right now? I think it's time for me to watch my sister get kidnapped. I hoped you'd 
open up to me a little. Look, you don't understand, Dojima. We're about to have a kidnapped alien on our hands. Super role reversal. It's a shame. It's a shame what? Stay here for the night. Oh boy, staying here in a dark room in a police station. My favorite. Whoa, sorry. I'm gonna go kidnap my daughter. Dang. Well, Adachi, looks like you're in the clear. Inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame him. <coughs> I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah shut up, Adachi. I have to turn on the television so I can watch my sister Plus, get kidnapped. you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like mm. what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. After all, I'm the one that sent it. He just, like, locks the door and he's like, So, are you gonna do this the easy way or are you gonna do this the Nanako way? What's the Nanako way? <laughs> take off your pants. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. Because he, he, she's an alien. Don't, don't, don't take that some other way, you perverts. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. All right, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me. I'll know. be just outside Nanako's room, kidnapping her. If you need anything, <laughs> too bad. How do these people open the door without using their hands? They just bump into it with their face. Meanwhile, at the Junez grocery department. Why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? Oof. <clears throat> it's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. I wish people could be that belligerent about not actually working hard and enough. And you're proud of that because why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. Wowee. <laughs> I've entered the information age. You've entered an age, all right. Good thing it's a flip phone and not worried if we couldn't reach you. tab. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <laughs> Thank you, Yosuke. You know, now that I think about it, how much free space do I have left on this? Uh, Thirty-five. Okay, I'm good. I need to make sure I don't go over my. Fr oh yeah, Persona Four does take less space than Persona Five does, so I need to make sure I don't overflow my space that I have left over on the drive. I did yesterday with so P5. It, press this button. Uh, scrap that. <coughs> Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. So you do it like this. Do -do 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 -do. I'll take that. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the midnight channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Hmm. Uh, I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promised to play with her lots. Okay, good thing you two are going. Go help her not get kidnapped, even though she's totally going to get kidnapped. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. Oof. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. So let's us two gentlemen that uh, Tojima barely knows goes and hangs out with her. I'm sure that won't make him suspicious. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. Yeah, she's kidnapped. It's it's a done so deal now. So we can go? She's not going to be there. Sweet. You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec. I'll try calling again. Stop calling! This is Dojima. He's all belligerent and angry. Still not picking up. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. You're gonna call the, the murderer in the act of kidnapping fucking... Oh, hey, it's Nanako. Hey, Nanako-chan? You're not kidnapped yet. Great. Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. Oh, boy. Wait, what? You got taken to the police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk too! 
good evening. <laughs> this 